Welcome. Today is the top five. Um, and I'm going to do my top five favorite children's books. These consist, these may look tattered and not in good condition, but some of them are. And um, these are my favorite books that I either kept, um, still kept when I, from when I was a kid. The first one being The Nightmare Before Christmas and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is obviously not in mint condition, but it has really nice illustrations throughout the page. So, really, really pretty, wintry stuff. Um, Christmas tree pictures. And then of course, let's put share some with this Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Night Reindeer, another Christmassy type stuff. And the Santa Claus. I did that in the filming night. Yep. And when he wakes up Rudolph to tell him, hey, will you grab my sleigh tonight? So yeah. Pretty good. Which one is his again? He's got really cool pictures. Um, of course this <laughs> book is tattered and not in mint condition. The next book I have is Beauty and the Beast, and, uh, and I'm sure everybody knows the story of Beauty and the Beast. This is from the Disney's um, version. This one's pretty, really good. Um, I've kept this one. These have really amazing pictures, full blown out pictures too. I've seen... Very great things from like the movie. The artwork is done by I don't even know. Let me look. I don't know. I don't even know who the artwork is done by. But it's just a really amazing type of sceneries and pictures. It's really pretty. Um, and I absolutely love this story. So yeah. Um, obviously this is another of my favorite children's. Well actually it's my favorite Disney. One of my favorite Disney movies. And I have um, the um, picture book to share. The next book I got signed, this is the last, the last book, and this one is signed, let me show you, right here, personally to me, and this is written by Dallas and Lisa Lewis, and it's illustrated by Dallas Lewis, and he uses computer, so it is full page, kind of, um, um, computer stuff. Um, sometimes the text, like this, is pretty just normal, but then I have pictures throughout the story, um, which I absolutely love. And this story, if you're not familiar with it, let me tell you what it's about. This is about a boy, Phil Billy, and um, what happens is he um, goes up in space. Um, well, he realizes one day that all the books are missing, so he kind of goes on adventures or goes to do stuff, but nobody can really do anything without books, like selling ice cream and, you know, going to school, and so you know, or fixing someone's 
medication problems and so therefore they this is kind of learning that we need books in our life and it's a really good kind of story about how um, books are everywhere and that we learn from books and we um, create things from books and it's just a really nice um, story. And then the next book I have, and this one's kind of beat up, but not really, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and this is A Tale from the British Grimm, translated by Randall Gerard and pictures by Nancy Ekholm Burnett. And this is what it looks like, this is the cover. Um, and this is a really pretty full-blown, this one has full-blown illustrations throughout that. This is her running through the forest. Um, her meeting the dwarves, seven dwarves. This is kind of a the witches, the witch tying her tightly in the cor her cor corset, trying to kill her. This is the witch with the apple and the spell book that has Rx on there. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, and then this is obviously her in the um, glass case when the prince takes her to be a decoration. And... Then we have this picture, which is when she gets married and kind of happy. And this picture right over here, where it's kind of freaky, where the queen died. Sort of. Um, and it's got really beautiful illustrations. So I highly suggest you pick up this copy. It's from... Um, It's from Sunburst book, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty good. Then the last, the last book, and I put my name on here because I guess I um, just brought this to a class or something. And this is called The hum Hummingbird King. And this is a Guatemethic legend. This is, um, and it's written and adapted by Argentina Felicios and illustrated by Philippi Devalios. And this is a really, really also good, really good story. I don't think, and it's got really beautiful illustrations. This uh, Mecca kind of place. Um, some really beautiful, full, full blown illustrations. I love this one, where they count the stars, and, and this one where he's got the feather, and this guy steals his feather. And this one where they work the slaves. And then they do have some graphic ones, like him getting shot, and him turning into a beautiful bird. This is a story about the Hummingbird King, and it's about a guy who basically has this luck ribbon and nobody can harm him with this, basically, it's not a curse really, it's like a gift, so um, this this, not ribbon, but the feather, um, basically, um, he, you know, doesn't penetrate through him at all, and so he is safe, and, you know, and he sleeps with it under his bed, and one day this guy who's jealous of him, because he's the next ruler to be king, is jealous of him, and so he tries to steal that feather so he can kill him. He ends up killing him and he turns into the hummingbird, the um, the um, 
gorgeous green bird at the end of the novel. And he turns into that, kind of representing that he's kind of still alive, still out there, and you have to have faith, and you have to really, like, remember to uh, have faith and stuff. So this is another really, really good book, um, and I love the artwork in it. And that is the top five books for today, and stay tuned next week, um, where I will talk about video games. So yeah, and have a great day, and I hope to see you tomorrow, and bye!